Lolly Adafope, top 10 classic Lolly Adafopes. In at number 10, the Lolly Adafope who's just poured milk on her cereal, but then her phone rings and it's someone important. At number 9, the Lolly Adafope who knows the difference between men and women. Isn't it weird how girls sit down to we, but boys never call me back? Here at number eight, the lolly anaphope who really wants to sleep, but whose taxi driver really wants to chat. Yeah, yeah. What? Hang in at number seven, the lolly anaphope who's just been asked why there isn't a white history month. Quick, it's number six, the lolly anaphope who's seen her birthday on an expiration date. <laughs> it's my birthday. Let's dive, it's number five, the Lolly Adafope, who feels the need to talk about race in her comedy. What? Number four, the Lolly Adafope, who can't just see herself as a human being rather than as black. Well, that's just ridiculous. I mean, who, who is writing these? Because obviously the way that society sees me is going to affect the way I see myself. There we are, it's number three. Well, don't interrupt me. Just because I was about to make a really astute point and then you just cut me off. It's just a bit rude. So. Close, number two, the lolly anaphope who loses her cool. No, no, I'm chill about it, like I'm a really fun, cool, chill, nice girl. So. Finally, at number one, the lolly anaphope who's learned not to see colour. Well, no, that's not what I meant. What did you mean? Well, I meant you can't just ignore issues of race just because... Well, comedy should just be comedy. Please don't talk with food in your mouth. Ooh! Michael McIntyre never talks about race. Well, I should be able to talk about it if I want or not talk about it if I'm I want. I'm just saying, like, when I want no, to I, don't. I don't want someone no, speaking at me about race. I don't, like, I'm it's just boring. saying, what I'm trying to say is, it's very, it's very, very much, 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 much